What is up guys? Welcome to day 54 of Onshape. We are going to be making a VEX pulley system, but we're not going to be actually making the parts. We're just making the assembly. So what's really, really cool is that we can download what are called step files. So step files are a 3D model representation of the part. There's no history to it, so it doesn't know how the part was made. It doesn't know kind of what the part really is other than its shape. So how do we use it? Well, if you've downloaded a folder that's zipped, means it's compressed, you can't use it. You have to unzip the folder. So what we're going to do is if you have a Chromebook, uh, I've got a link down in the Google Drive below uh, where you can just download these unzipped files as you need. But if you have a Windows or an Apple, if you right click, we're going to hit extract all. And now these files are usable. Okay, so let's just move on from here. Like I said, if you have a Chromebook, you can just click on the link down below and then download all those files kind of as you need. Um, and then if you have uh, Windows or Apple, you should just follow along for now. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on plus for the element. We're gonna import and you should have all these files downloaded. So we're gonna highlight all of them. We're gonna click open import the document or combine into a single part studio. Um, both of these, since we're importing individual parts and not an assembly, it's gonna produce the same thing, or at least from what I found so far. So I'm just gonna pull these in. It's gonna go, oh man, give us a second. What in the world are you doing? So what I'm gonna do here is as my parts are getting created, I'm just gonna drag them into my CAD imports folder. Now, the CAD imports folder has the step file, and that step file is getting recreated to make an on shape part studio. So I'm just going to go ahead and just, for the sake of, I don't like cluttering this up, this looks ugly, we're just going to pull it into CAD imports. And so as the parts are getting made, we're going to throw them into CAD imports. That way, you know what, they're just nice and neat and organized. Okay. Oh, it's like playing. There we go. Get a couple in there. That's more just file organization than anything. Alrighty. There we go. I think we're almost done with all of our imports. Let's bring this over. There we go. Just throwing all those files we just created into the same part. There we go. Now we're going to go over to assembly. We're going to go ahead and insert these parts that we need. So for the first one, for the pulley system, I know I need a 10 millimeter pulley. I know I need a 40 millimeter pulley. I know I'm going to need a two inch shaft, which really isn't two inches, and that's a little frustrating. I know I'm going to need another two inch shaft. And I know I'm going to need a beam. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull all those parts in there. And be done. Okay. So as I'm just kind of adjusting and seeing where things are going around. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my beam here. Rotate it forward 90 degrees. That way it is where I want it to be. Like we do with any part, you find the part that you don't want to move in an assembly, we're gonna find it, right click and hit fix. And we just want this to not move as we get everything else figured out. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go with a revolute mate because we want this axle to revolute in the slot for um, the pulley system. That's not quite in there, so let's flip it around. Let's go ahead and offset it by one inch. Click the green check mark. Hey, that looks good. We're gonna do another revolute. We're going to revolute the face of this with the face of that. We're gonna flip it around, give it an offset of one inch, and there we go. 
just to double check and make sure, I'm going to click on this top edge to make sure that all of these axles are aligned just right. Like I said, they're not exactly two inches. It's a little bit shorter. So if you don't do this quite right, they can be a little askew. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some fastened mates. So let's go to fastened. There we go. And we're going to fasten the face of this to the face of my axle. We want it fastened because we want the axle to spin with the pulley. We're going to do an offset of half an inch. So we see the Z axis, it's going to be 0 0.5 inches. Let's put a negative in front of that though. Hit the green check mark and we're looking good. Next thing we're going to do is just this piece right here. Make sure I'm getting the face of it. So I'm going to hover over the face that I want, hold down the shift, get the center of that, center of that. And there we go. Click the flip and do an offset of in the z-axis of negative 0.5 inches. Click the green check mark and man we are almost done folks. We'll make sure on the top view everything is nice and lined up. Click on my isometric, do the spin as expected and they sure do. Okay. Next thing I need to do is I need to do a gear relation. Now, since this isn't necessarily uh, gears, but it does have a gear relation, we can use these two Revolut mates and make a gear relationship. And so that's going to be a 1 to 4. So you can put 1 to 4 or 0 0.2, 0 0.25. Now, what this should do for me is that as this rotates once, the other one rotates four times. But we do have another problem though, is that that gear relationship is they're not going the right way. So I'm gonna edit that, reverse the direction, hit the check mark, and as one rotates, the other one rotates four times. Just to make sure this works, we're gonna hit right click, we're gonna animate our first revolute, on a loop and click play. Does this work as expected? Absolutely. We should see the small one rotate four times the rate of the larger one. Okay guys, there it is. We found VEX parts, we downloaded, we uploaded the step files, and we pulled them into our assembly to be used. We will continue on with some future videos about the other um, VEX machines and, and making some stuff with it. Uh, but we're going to call it done for today. If these videos have been helpful, please, please, please like, subscribe, share to your friends, your great aunt, whatever you want, um, and help me out. This channel has been tons of fun. It's been growing all school year. We're just going to continue on come next year. You guys are awesome. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.